It was really nice to see Barack and Michelle leaving the White House. And only because they caused so much hell up in there. It's just been, it's just, to me, being a human being, it, it just, it's amazing that you can have all physical power in your hand. The power of the United States of America behind you. And the best thing that you can do is just screw up everything. I'm going to take this power and I'm going to destroy America. That's mind-blowing to me. But it also shows me how evil works. Destroy good. And there are men and women of good that good is working through. And there are men and women of evil that evil is working through. Barack Obama had the greatest opportunity that any black man can have with the authority, physical authority of America in your hand, he could have made America even greater than what it is because he could have cleaned up the black community, the crime and lack of jobs, lack of family. Just think of the good impact that he could have had on black people which would have enhanced America even more so. You clean up the black community, you clean up America. He could have encouraged family. He could have worked with the programs in a good way that was rebuilding men, rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. He could have brought back jobs and secure jobs, private businesses in the inner cities, by cleaning up the, the uh, gang violence and drugs and all that mess that's going on, a lot of black people would love to start businesses in the inner cities, but they can't because black people will rob from them, steal from them, take their lives while going in and out of uh, to and from work. So a lot of black, especially young, educated black people, they want to start businesses. The best you can do is a hairdress, become a hairdresser or something. Barber, barber a barber. You know, Barack Obama could have influenced that in ways that is amazing, for. He could have put a big, beautiful wall around the borders and cleaned up the illegal aliens coming in because they are affecting the public schools and black communities the uh, hospitals and things where black people normally use because they depend on those things right now. He, he did none of those things. None. So why wouldn't I be happy to see him leave? It's not personal. I don't hate Barack or, or, or Michelle, uh, but I absolutely disagree with what they've done to this country. And Israel, our friend, and he has weakened us where we can be overtaken by our enemies around the world. So why wouldn't I be happy to see him go? I don't care if that he's black. Jimmy Carter. It was reported the other night that Obama worked with Jimmy Carter. <laughs> so why wouldn't I be celebrating today that now my country has a chance to be made to be made great again. Um, what's the name of that boxer, that Jim Brown? Not boxer, but a football player, Jim Brown. I heard a, a, a little interview from Jim Brown, and he was saying he spoke with Donald Trump, and he talked to him about making the inner cities safe again, bringing jobs back into the inner cities. And Donald Trump gave a, a, his word that he's going to work to get that done. That's the kind of president we want. We don't want a president that allow a segment of the culture of this country to just go to hell in a handbasket. President Bush didn't do anything about that. Bill Clinton, I think Bill Clinton did a, I don't know, he didn't do much. He, yeah, he did a little bit more about that than even President Bush because under President Clinton, he passed laws that um, got a whole lot of black people arrested for drugs and stuff. And, and that's why they're mad at Clinton, Hillary. 
we need somebody that care about the country and is not afraid and is not afraid to go in there and clean it up. Let them call you racist and all that mess. The children of the lie. So God bless America. We got another chance. This is an historic day. It will live forever. And I believe in four years from today, Friday, January 29th, 2017, that you're going to have more and more people in this country, liberals who are protesting today, supporting Donald Trump because their lives will be better. In a physical way, at least.